good afternoon, and I'm uh, LB, your host from Funny Minds. We're here at Tap Fest again today, and uh, our next episode, I, my co-host is on my right, Eddie, and he, we're going to have do a second episode with um, someone that plays with Joan Jett or Jean Marie. And he also does a lot of other things. And Eddie, tell us who we have here on our as our guest. To my left, we have Mr. Mickey Licks. How are you guys doing? Great, uh, <laughs> graceful enough to step in with us and, and give a quick hi. Uh, my first time meeting Mickey, um, but he is playing with the Anne Marie and the Joan Jett uh, tribute which we're super pumped about because I've yet to see them and I've heard great things. And damn it if she's not Joan Jett. I mean, oh my God, yeah, for really? the love of God. Right? Yes. But uh, Mickey has been with uh, the Joan Jett uh, tribute as well, and he's going to chat a little bit about what you got going on, what you've done, sure, sure. where uh, you've been, where you're going. Yeah. Um, well, the Joan Jett thing, we actually put that together about, about eight, nine months ago. I was actually playing bass in a band called Zero Effect that Jean Marie also is in, right? Oh, and, okay. And then somebody... go back? Yeah, and then like you said, everybody's always telling her, you look like Joan Jett, you know? Yeah. So we did a few Joan Jett songs <laughs> in that band, and then the idea was, hey, why don't we put a Joan Jett tribute together? So we did that, and um, our first gig was back in June, and we, you know, we've been pumping, getting some more shows, and uh, just really looking forward to being here at Top Fest and having a great time. So how do you, how do you like so far being in tribute world. Yeah. What's up, brothers? Good to see you, man. I'm going to have you on soon. Uh, yeah, being you, in tributes. I enjoy it, you know, because you kind of get to step outside yourself and portray another character. Yeah. Because um, that's at least what I try to do. I mean, I've watched a lot of Dougie Needles, the guitar mm-hmm. player for Joan Jett, and, uh, you know, we try to emulate them and whatnot. Uh, same thing in doing any tribute. The guys like out the movie here. Like a rock star. Yeah, exactly. I know you. I love you, dude. I know all your moves. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost, you know. And I think a lot of people that do the tributes, you know, at one time maybe we had a chance. I know back in the 80s I was in a band that was signed, you know. We did a small tour, did a couple albums, but of course never made the big time. And, but you can't stop playing, so you continue. I know, right? And, and this is it, you know. Fry the guitar from my dead hands. Yeah, exactly. That's about what it comes down to. Absolutely. So... It is definitely different being in the tribute world as opposed to a bar band. Right. Um, you get a lot of opportunities that you normally wouldn't get, right. mm-hmm. that only bigger bands get, like sure. traveling and better contracts. Right. Uh, better money. Better money. Better sponsors. You know, <laughs> you're not sitting at a, a smoke-filled bar till 5 in the morning. Right. Exactly. For your own PA. Yeah. And companies also give you equipment like guitars and drums. Yeah. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes. Well, because they want to promote their, you know. True, true. Yeah, not so much anymore. But interestingly enough, when you do get into a tribute and now you realize you have to buy the guitars and the outfits and whatnot yeah. that, you know, you're portraying. You're going broke. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> it, it takes quite a few gigs to make that back up. But, you know, we're, we don't do it just, you know, for the money. I mean, the money's nice, no, but you do it because no. you love it. You, know? you definitely do it because you love it. And the problem with, with instruments is all these bands have such specific instruments. Like Brian May, I did Brian May. Mm-hmm, you got to right. use Brian May guitar. Right, right. 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 Just use whatever the hell you want. Um... So that's a, you, you definitely do go broke. Absolutely. There's a lot of investment that goes on, but it's definitely well worth it. Absolutely. Yeah. What, uh, I know you got, you're limited on time. So what, uh, what do you guys have upcoming? What's that? What do you guys have upcoming? Upcoming, well, right now, the Joan Jet, again, we're here today. Um, after Thanksgiving, we're playing over in, um, I think it's D-Land. Florida, which is a little north, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a little north of um, Orlando. I like D-Land, that's better. Yeah, it sounds right. I yeah. probably don't know how to pronounce stuff. I'm from New York, so you know, you never know. Oh, so yeah, I'm really? from Jersey. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Hey, Jersey. Oh, I'm from Jersey. Where's your, where's your, where's your, where's your New York She's got 50 accent. things and she's yeah. like, New Yorker, you want to know New Well, you know, I try to be a little more professional. I can talk like I want. If I really want to talk really New York, I can yeah. talk New York. Especially when you get pissed. Right? That's right. <laughs> where, where sister, are my sister lives in Georgia. She was there two weeks and had a southern accent. I'm like, where did you come from? You know? right. I'm like, how do you yeah, do you got to really yeah. want that. But where, where New York are you from? Uh, Queens. I grew up in Queens. Oh, Queens. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, grew, I, I lived in Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I mean, Back in the early 90s. Yeah. Oh, I grew up there in, well, I don't want to say because that would give away how old I am, but I'm old. Oh. Um, <laughs> oh. I grew up there in the early 70s. Oh. So, um, 
But uh, it, it was great growing up there. It was a lot of opportunity. Unfortunately, my family took us out of the city when I was like 17. We moved upstate a little bit. So maybe that's why I lost a little of my accent. But, yeah. but it's still fun. And I played in bands up there in the Poughkeepsie area. Uh-huh. Um, and it's interesting. In the Kiss It band, one of the guys uh, who does the Gene Simmons, uh, Carlos uh, Espada, he played up at a place called The Chance. I don't know if you ever heard of The Chance. I've heard, yeah. Sure. It's one of the main clubs, you know, like that's in the okay. club tour circuit, you know. Bands on the Arise play there, and bands that are kind of on their way down, you know, yeah. a thousand seater. But we used to play there all the time, and it's great. Fun. What's your favorite? Uh, what's your favorite song to play from John Jack? Uh, my favorite song, you know, it's crazy. She's got so many good songs, but she does a lot of covers too. But I would say that probably my favorite song to play for her is a song called "You Drive Me Wild." Um, it was the first song she ever wrote. Are you guys doing it tonight? Uh, unfortunately, not tonight. We did it uh, at our okay. last show, but Jean kind of custom customizes the set list for the crowd. Fresh. Yeah, to keep it fresh okay. and, and based yeah. on you know like yeah. where we're playing. You know, we did a place that was more of a punk place, so we pulled out a lot of Jones punkier yeah. stuff. This is a little more mainstream, Good so stuff. we want to do the stuff that everybody knows. You know. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Well. So you also do. You're also in uh, the Kiss band. Right, Kiss tribute. It's it's a little bit unique twist. It's an unmasked Kiss tribute, non makeup era. It's imagine if Paul, uh, if Ace and Peter never left. Right, never never left the band and okay. took the makeup off. And like in '92, the Revenge Tour. Imagine the Revenge Tour with Ace and Peter not in makeup, and that's what we do. And it's pretty cool. We, we've only done one show, but it went over really well. And um, Dory was there, so you know she she loved it. And uh, oh my god, but it's Dory, really? Not, no. Right, Dory's everywhere, right? So it's a fixture. <laughs> but our next show with that band is November 19th over in um, Orlando. So you know, there's lots of social media for Kiss It. There's also social media for the Jet Hearts. You know, you go to both of those and you'll find out all the well, go, go ahead and, and, and so plug what? your social media here. Yeah, let, yeah, Let everybody know where to find you. Yeah, yeah, I mean, for me, I'm on uh, Mickey Licks on Facebook. Mickey Licks? Uh, Mickey Licks on Facebook. You can find me there. And really, like I said, I'm old. I'm not savvy with Instagram <laughs> and all that other stuff. So, again, you know. I, I call myself um, um, an internet dummy. Yeah, yeah that, that's me. I'm i got to ask like my kids really to like, figure yeah. stuff out. For me, you know? Technology and then they laugh dummies. At you. Yeah, exactly. They're like... <laughs> But, um, okay. yeah, and so like I said, what made you, uh, well, no, 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 finish with your social media, like, do you have a page, like, yeah, like I said, on, on Facebook, Mickey Licks, and then, um, Kiss It is on Facebook as well, and so are the Jet Hearts on Facebook, yeah. yeah, we have, yeah, we have the Jet Hearts on Facebook, okay, yeah. so what made you want to do this whole kiss thing without makeup and, um, you know, I saw an ad back in April on Facebook, of all things, looking for a Paul Stanley. And it's funny, I used to dress up as Paul Stanley when I was a kid. Uh, I did lots of uh, Halloween shows with bands that I had been in. You know, you, you pick a, something to dress up as, I always did Paul. And people were always telling me, you need to be in a, you know, in a Kiss tribute band. Okay. So when this opportunity came along, I went, I auditioned, and, uh, you know, I said, listen, I don't necessarily have the greatest singing voice, I, you know. Paul's got a great voice. Yeah. Unfortunately, not now, but you know, but it's close. And but I, but I got the city accent when I want to, and I can do his raps, and I've got his moves, and you know the guys were floored by that. And you know, it's it's great. You know, have a great time doing it. You know what I mean? Because if you can't be a rock star, why not impersonate one, right? I know, right? So, like, what do you have planned for that? Like, what's what's going to be in the future of that? Um, yes. I know, like I said, uh, Carlos uh, Espada, the guy who runs it, um, the Gene Simmons character he plays, he does a great job. He actually looks like Gene Simmons. It's, it's freaky. Uh, yeah. And, um, you know, we want to do the unmasked thing for a while, and then ultimately we will put the makeup on. But we don't want to do a specific era, per se. Most tribute bands, they either do the Alive era, right. or they do, right. you know, like the Love Gun look. Um, we want to kind of do sort of what's going on, not necessarily now, but maybe like the 2000... Um, farewell tour look when it still was Ace and Peter but they were doing stuff from the 80s they were doing you know unmasked right. songs you know because we want to cover the whole entire catalog not just the early stuff you know so you'll travel or you just stay local with it well we start lo- we start and... local with Orlando but Carlos still has a lot of contacts up north and throughout the northeast and uh, he's hoping to book us you know some uh, you know good shows and we might get on the road and do some traveling yeah Okay. It's well, definitely out there. I mean, it's available. Um, the I tribute love scene it. has really blown up. Yeah. And, and due to, you know, TV shows, 
absolutely have it going on. I mean, so I mean, just it's not I just mean, Vegas anymore. Not that, not that I would not pay to go to a concert to see Queen with Adam Lambert or see the Dead or something, you know, whatever. But a lot of people can afford to go to Madison Square Garden. Yeah, of course. Like so we go to see a lot of tribute bands. Yeah. I'm a big Deadhead, so okay. I have one band that I mean, they're just the total package, you know. And so a lot of things, a lot of people want to go see Janice. They yeah, but let me ask you a question. Do you trip Iron on acid? Maiden. Do you get any, any shrooms? No, I'm probably the only deadhead that only smoked pot once in my life. I hear you. But, uh, you know, but I mean, that people are just have fallen in love with tribute fans. And every week I get, like, different things, like, so-and-so playing here, so, you know. And if I can go, I go. If I can you know, I feel bad that I missed it. Because it's thing, you know? so good. It's so good. Well, a lot of these bands, but you guys are so good. Thank you. Appreciate it. And, you know, we love doing it. And you work really hard at it, too. That's true. That's true, no doubt. You do. Yeah. You like know, a, if, a, if you're not practicing, you're in the studio, or you know, you're on stage, you're running, you're running, you're too. And it literally says Mickey Licks on his license. His driver's license. <laughs> It's ha- it's ha- he's got like, yeah. <laughs> like selfie license picture. Yeah, yeah. I wish, right? It does say that on like guitar picks though. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. That's funny. Well, hey, man, thank you for coming on. I appreciate obviously, it. Obviously, I know you got to get. Yep. Got to get up there and, and get, get set up. prepared. Yep. But appreciate it, it. Obviously, a pleasure to meet you. You too. It. I'm pumped to see you up there. I'm pumped to see Anne Marie. Crush it. I, I so appreciate you taking the time you. to come and talk to us. And, we appreciate you. Know, you. I wish you the best out there. I hope Thank I can come and peek. Okay. You know, if yeah, somebody's yeah. sitting here, of course I'm going to peek. She's going to flash the band. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. No, okay. She's quite right with some beats at <laughs> no. no, that ain't happening. Not in a million years. <laughs> I appreciate but, it, guys. No, I I really truly appreciate you giving your time for us. We appreciate today. you. It's, it's great. So you go out and kick right. ass out there, okay? We'll do. Thank you. Like Crush it. it. Okay. Bye bye. Uh, Take care. Now. Making out with mom. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And now I gotta call you daddy. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, Mickey. Appreciate it. Have a great time, guys. Well, now that we have we have some time alone, Eddie and I have some time alone. So, yeah. you know, in between people, so we're going to talk a little bit about us. Why not? You know, what's so more important not? than us? Then, yeah, what's more important than us? I mean, you know, a girl from Jersey City who, who, you know, went out there in the world and did what she wanted to do, and she's still doing what she wants to do, and. You know, having fun doing it and she enjoying it. She works a lot. She works a lot on her guns. Yeah, yeah, I she wish. Got the, gun, the gun show going. I wish, I wish. But this is a, a, a really cool um, event. And it's been a great event. We're gonna have uh, one of the owners, Greg, with us shortly, who's gonna talk about the business and where it's been and where it's going and how Tap Fest got started. Um, but we're having a super cool time here today. I'll be up there uh, later on playing with Carnival of Crew. Yeah, and, unfortunately uh, you won't be able to see that. But you'll meet a couple of guys from Crew, right? Yeah, a couple of guys we're going to have gonna uh, Chuck and Allie on, who have yeah. a, a YouTube channel. We're going to have Mike Caruso on, the lead singer of the Scorpions Tribute Big City Nights. So uh, we have more episodes to go here. It's going to be a, uh, a great rest of the evening. It is. We should grab somebody from the audience and just drag them up here and say, hey, you want to be on a video? And just uh, harass them? Yeah, we should harass somebody. You Let's know, harass I'll... somebody. Hey, come here. <laughs> Maybe she's busy. Come here. Oh, no. I... Uh, you can say hello. We're say gonna, hello to your family. Say hi, your husband has his own episode. Oh. oh, wait a minute. Who's, who's her husband? This is Miss Diane Rubin. This is oh, Rich's you're wife. Rich's, Rich's wife. beautiful I wife. Am. Oh, I hear that you laugh at all his jokes. So I do. <laughs> Most of his jokes are about me. Are they really? Well, that's okay. Secretly. That's okay. We yeah. had Rich on, uh, I think he, uh, Rich was episode 9 and 10. Yeah, I we think, did too. Or, yeah, 7 and 8. 
He, Rich, is, he's been on our show already, and he was hysterical. I've heard so. it. It's fantastic. Yeah, he, he's he did a natural great job. Sure. Oh, he, yeah. is. he is. He is. That's why I encourage so him. So you because... should be just as natural as No, he I'm not. No. I, I am the... She's just the good-looking the, the, one. The material. <laughs> She's the trophy wife. Yeah. Aww. So what, what do you do other than take care of Rich? Oh, I don't take care of Rich. <laughs> 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 um, my job Rich. is to stay out of the house so he can do the magic and work for all the bands. And I apologize. That is my favorite song. So I'm oh, oh, my God. Oh, that's okay. Oh, it's rocky like a hurricane's going on <laughs> no, right now. No, oh, here so, he comes. Here he is. We, we kidnapped your wife. I know. I told oh, she's going. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Goodbye, Bye, Mrs. Baby. Rich Rubin. <laughs> Mrs. Rubin in the house. We grabbed her. Sorry, Rich. We grabbed her and put her on. <laughs> I don't know, Eddie. Grab somebody else. You know what? You're right. I'm going to go. Go grab somebody and bring them on here. Because this is this is like... A, now, grab somebody from the audience. This is like a, a crazy time in between, and I don't want to waste... I don't want to waste it. So, I'll talk, and, I, you know, I'll tell you that uh, as part of this episode, I'm going to be asking everybody to go to our website, funnyminds.com. Um, it's a great website, and you can go on there to Spotify, to um, YouTube, and a lot of different other platforms. But being that we're a video podcast, it's best to go on you, either Spotify or YouTube, and uh, we also have our donation button on there and our two um, organizations that we love and that we're hoping to be a big part of is Breast Cancer and St. Jude's Children's Hospital, of course. So there's a button on there. You can press it. You can make your donation, and we would all greatly appreciate it. And um, also, we have a store. So go take a look at the store. But um, anyhow, to get back to what I was saying, you know, I would really love everybody to really take a chance and go out, go online and, and go and look at um, our website and uh, leave, us, leave us anything that you would like to. I mean, give us comments, say whatever you want to say. You know, do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, are there people you would like to see more of? If I can get them, <laughs> I would love to. Um, and if, if, you know, you have suggestions for us, we would be very glad to hear that. And I'm Lynn at FunnyMinds.com, and it's Edward at FunnyMinds.com, and uh, we're looking for some fun people to have on our show and keep it going and uh, right now the music is getting really crazy out there the Joan Jett's going to be going on any moment so a lot of people are running out to go and see her play and that's understandable so we will be doing more people from Tap Fest and bringing on some more um of the people from the bands and the owner of the place that we're at who's running Tap Fest and doing a great job of it. And uh, so I'm going to sign off right now and on this episode. And uh, we'll see you on our next episode. I don't know who we're going to have. I'm surprised here. You know, everybody's like coming and going, coming and going. But... Um, our next episode, we'll have somebody from Tap Fest, and, and I'm sure you'll love that episode as much as we're all going to love it. So I'm going to say goodbye to you now for this episode, and maybe we can get uh, Mickey back again and get some more out of him because he's very interesting. And we'll see. And uh, come and be on the podcast. Come on, come sit here and say hello to people. Sit over here. Put this on. Say hello. Hi, honey. I'm inside. Put the headphones on. Tell me who you are. Inside. All right. Well, I'm sitting here. Hi. So, who are you?
I'm Angie from Lady Evil. Hi, how are you? Oh, Angie from Lady Evil. Oh, I'm supposed to do a whole podcast on you, right, Angie. Right, right. Here comes Raleigh right now. Just oh. walked in the door. What a great outcome. I mean, there's oh my God. tons of people out there. You know such what? A great song, singing. Let me. I'm gonna end this episode and I'm gonna start another one if that's okay with you. Yeah. Okay. That's wonderful. All right, everybody, I'm going to say goodbye and thank you, and we'll get Paul back later, and um, we'll see you on the next episode.